John Henry Tunstall was an English-born rancher and merchant in Lincoln County, New Mexico. His well-known fight with Lincoln County Irish Catholic merchants, lawmen, and politicians is retold in most every Billy the Kid tale. Alexander McSween was also a prominent figure during the Lincoln County War and a central character alongside John Tunstall and Billy the Kid in opposing businessmen and gunmen, Lawrence, Murphy, and James Dolan. This is their story of where they were gunned down and buried. The past speaks to us. Let's go see what it has to say. Tunstall hoped to unseat the Irish and make a fortune as the county's new boss. He was the first man killed in the Lincoln County War, which was an economic and political conflict that resulted in armed warfare between rival gangs. Tunstall refused to use violence himself, but soon recruited Billy the Kid and a half a dozen other tough cowboys to protect him and his investment. The young Englishman went into business as a cattleman and bought a ranch about 30 miles south of the town of Lincoln. In the town of Lincoln, he also established a mercantile store and bank down the road from the Murphy and Dolan Mercantile and banking operation known as the House. Murphy and Dolan ran the town and the surrounding county of Lincoln. They controlled the courts and sheriff. In February 1878, Dolan and Murphy obtained a court order to seize some of Tunstall's horses as payment for outstanding debt. When Tunstall refused to surrender the horses, Lincoln County Sheriff William Brady formed a posse led by Deputy William Morton to seize them. After protesting the presence of the posse on his land, Tunstall was shot in the head on February 18, 1878. This incident started what became known as the Lincoln County War. This is the Tunstall McSweeney store. Unfortunately, it's closed right now. Um, but this is the store that um, kind of started it all. So behind the Tunstall store is a little graveyard, so let's go check it out. So Tunstall and McSween just happened to be buried behind their store. So directly behind the store, it's hard to see with the lighting, you can find their graves. There's also other people buried ba um, back here, um, but these are the only two with headstones. A beautiful place to be laid to rest. It's just the view is spectacular. On July 15, 1878, the Dolan Murphy gang surrounded the regulators, which included Billy the Kid, at the McSween home in Lincoln. On July 19th, after numerous exchanges of gunfire over a four-day period, the house was set afire. Susan McSween was granted safe passage out of the house while the men inside continued to fight the fire. By that evening, the regulators and McSween made plans to break free of the house. The Dolan men saw the running men an open fire. Meanwhile, U.S. troops had arrived with instructions to make arrests to avoid execution by the Dolan faction. The troops took up position in the backyard to take those left 
into custody. However, a close-range gun fight erupted. McSween, whose white shirt made him an easy target, was killed. So down in this area uh, was Colonel Dudley's camping um, encampment. Um, he camped down there July 19th in 1878, and it's where the U.S. troops from Fort Stanton allegedly brought to protect the lives and property of Lincoln and hoping that their presence um, would help the situation. So across the street was the army encampment and this is the, Mon um, the Montana store. And they were neutral in the Lincoln County Wars. But it turned out that the, that 25 men garrison of McSween men uh, led by Martin Chavez were driven out by Colonel Duntley um, and his troops in the July fight. So the adobe structure, it's really cool. I wish we could spend more time here, but we have to move on. So I'm standing in front of the Lincoln County Courthouse, but it was originally the Murphy Dolan store and it was built in 1874. Goes that when this became a courthouse, it was just taken over from the Dolan uh, Company, and they hadn't had a chance to build a jail in it yet. So that's why Billy was kept in the courtroom um, at that cot with leg irons, um, because they had just taken it over from the Dolan Company. This is supposedly the place that uh, Deputy Bell was shot um, by Billy when he was escaping. So it's directly behind the courthouse. Earlier I mentioned that there are others buried next to Tunstall and McSween. It is estimated somewhere between 7 to 11 bodies were placed in the graveyard. The graves are thought to actually be 20 feet to the east in a secret spot on private property. The cemetery's first burial was possibly the infant daughter of saloon keeper Ike Stockton in 1877, or a child of, of David and Elizabeth Shield, both victims of a smallpox epidemic that year. Others thought to be buried in the secret graveyard, Daniel Huff, Harvey Morris, and Houston Chapman along with either two or three children. Frank McNabb became leader of the Regulators upon Dick Brewster's death. He was ambushed less than eight months later, about eight miles east of Lincoln. walk up and down the town with your map and it tells you what all the buildings are. Um, unfortunately we're here in the winter time so some of these buildings are closed up but it's really cool. It's a lot of history and I highly recommend that you make a stop here. Um, you know you, there's places that you can stay. We're staying down in Carlsbad at the KOA and it, then we went to Roswell, which was only an hour drive, and then this was an hour drive from Roswell. Um, I recommend staying down at that KOA because it's um, centrally located. You can go to the Carlsbad Caverns. Um, it's actually a perfect place to stay.